Plants vs. Zombies is a classic tower defense game released in 2009, made by PopCap Games, and you may be wondering if it's still worth playing in 2023. The answer is a sounding yes. There are a few reasons why this game is still worth playing today, even after all these years. The game is packed with humor and charm, which makes it a joy to play. From the silly zombie animations to the witty plant funs, Plants vs. Zombies is a game that will keep you smiling from start to finish. The game doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's a lot of fun to play. Plants vs. Zombies is a game that has stood the test of time, as it has been remastered and updated over the years, and there are still new players discovering the game today. This is a testament to the quality of game. It's a game that will continue to be enjoyed for many years to come. The game is easy to learn but difficult to master which is why it makes it so satisfying. You have to think strategically about which plants to use and where to place them to stop the zombies from reaching your house. It's a game that requires skill and patience, which is a refreshing change from some of the mindless games that are out there today. It's also worth mentioning that Plants vs. Zombies is still popular because it's a great game for all ages. It's not too violent, and it's not too complicated. It's just the right amount of both. The adventure mode is split into five different areas, and each area has a mini-game and a final fight as well as eight regular levels that unlock different plants as you fight different zombie types. The day levels introduce you to the gameplay and mechanics, and while it is quite easy, it has the memorable mini-game Walnut Bowling. The night levels introduce you to a lot more zombie variants, and it takes away a lot of your sun production. But it also gives you nighttime plants, but they fall asleep during the day. The minigame for the area is Whack a Zombie, which as the name implies has you walking the zombies with a wooden mallet instead of using your plants. The pool levels increase the lane count to 6, and it makes the middle two lanes inaccessible to plants, unless you have a lily pad. The minigame Big Trouble Little Zombie has a smaller, weaker, and faster zombies attacking your pool. The fog levels take the pool level layout and cover half the screen with a thick fog, causing you to be unable half to see half the screen without special plans. The fog level minigame actually takes you back to the night level and introduces Vase Breaker, which I'll cover in a bit more detail later. The roof level is where the game starts to become more difficult, as you can't plant at all on the roof unless you put down a plant first. And due to the angle of the roof, your main plants won't be able to damage the zombies, so you have to use catapult plants. The minigame for the roof levels has you use only chomper plants, which are generally underutilized due to the rather lackluster range and speed once they kill a zombie. The final level, or boss level, of each area has you use all the plants you have gotten in the area against wave of zombies, and it isn't all that different from a regular level besides you get your plants provided to you, with two exceptions, the fog final level and the roof final level. The fog final level is set during a thunderstorm and is pitch black except for streaks of lightning. The roof final level is the final level of the game, has you going up the leader of zombies, Dr. Zomboss. Zomboss is a pretty good final boss, but it can easily have an AI manipulated like I am doing in this fight. Plants vs. Zombies is known for its addictive and engaging main gameplay, but it also has a variety of side content that adds even more depth and replayability to the game. First up we have the mini-games. These babies unlock after certain levels in the main adventure mode and offer a fresh take on the classic gameplay. One of my favorites is Column Like You See Him, where you plant an entire row of plants at once. It's a fun twist on the normal gameplay and offers a great challenge. Another side mode in Plants vs. Zombies is the puzzle mode, 
where you break bases to reveal either plants or zombies or help the zombies beat the plants. These modes require careful planning and strategy as players must figure out the best way to use their available resources to achieve the objective. Finally, the survival mode will throw hordes of zombies at you, but you keep your defense after each leg, unlike the regular campaign mode. In conclusion, Vice vs. Zombies is definitely worth playing in 2022. It's a well-designed game that is easy to learn but difficult to master, and it's packed with humor and charm. Whether you're a new player or a long-time fan, you're sure to have a great time playing Vice vs. Zombies.